Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I saw this article today, and I don't know if I saw it yesterday as well, but I said, well, maybe I should not make a, uh, a video on it. But I said, well, I actually have something to say about it. And uh, it's not going to be, I'm assuming, something that people expect me or you know someone else to say. And that is... Some people try to make a connection between President Obama, uh, former President Obama, and homosexuality. And the, the Telegraph um, writes an article, talks about some letters and uh, some uh, things that he says in those letters, uh, former President Obama. I think the letters were, uh, I think he also got a, a little uh, thesis or something, a uh, paper that the... Harvard would not release, which uh, would uh, show a different side of Mr. Obama. All right. Nevertheless, he had his chance. He was elected twice by the sophisticated uh, U.S. electorate. I've been told that the U.S. electorate is sophisticated and uh, it can't be a military junta, junta leading the country. When I made that point to a friend of mine, still my friend, and uh, I had this conversation a long time ago. A long time ago, when Obama was elected a second time, and uh, he was not an Obama supporter, but I said, well, do you think that Obama is the guy in charge here? And he was uh, kind of like snapped at me and said, Psh, but who do you think uh, he is? I mean, obviously, I'm an immigrant, so what do I know, right? And I said, well, I think it's uh, the guys who have the guns possibly have the power, because if you look at uh, the whole thing, you know, you can fool people some people sometime, but you can't fool all the people all the time, all the time. The same here. The guy who has the gun, you can fool that guy, but the guy, the guy, if he catches that he has been fooled with his ability, he would get you whenever he wants. So let's put it in a scenario. If the military tomorrow wants to take over, this country can do it in two hours. Mass media, everything they want, everything they want. The government, mass media, in an hour, two hours. If they plan it, they do it. Uh, but the politicians can't do that. Why? Because they don't have the guns, right? They can't arrest people unless they have people with guns doing that with, to people without guns. E eventually, we are all barbarians. We're still where they are. That's my assessment. We play a little bit more civilized. We brush our teeth, you know, you might take a shower once or twice a day or I don't know, once a week or who knows, but that's, you know, good for us. But inside, I think we're still uh, beasts. It's good that we are tamed a little bit. You want to see who we are? Put us in a stressful situation. And then you will see how we behave. Like, I don't know, a ship going down in the middle of uh, the North Atlantic, for instance. Anyway, so let's look at this article here. The Telegraph. Obama revealed he thought about, quote-unquote, making love to men daily, end quote, in unearthed letter. Now, if you, you can take certain things out of context, okay, and uh, or not. Now, let's say he is doing this. He really you know, thought about making love to men daily. Uh, does it matter? He, that's, what would change about President Obama, former President Obama, if he was or he is a uh, homosexual and, you know, he knows it, but he doesn't want to disclose it. Even if he's an active homosexual, does it matter? I don't think it matters whatsoever. I don't think it matters. And uh, it didn't matter when he was the president. What mattered is if he's swift, smart, you know, understands things, he's courageous, temperate, and so on. These are the qualities I'm looking in. The, he was a very, you know, supposedly charismatic person to a certain group of population, of the population, and the mass media covered for him 100%. And whomever dared to uh, touch this guy with the flower, he was called, you know, birther or this and this and that, whatever. So I don't think it matters if these guys thought about uh, getting a in his, uh, or vice versa. I don't really care. So what? would not change my assessment of who he was as a president. I don't care. He could take three in the same time. I don't care. So let's see what the Telegraph uh, tells us here. 
Barack Obama wrote that he made love to man every day, and I'm quoting, in the imagination, end quote, in a letter to an ex-girlfriend that he surfaced, that has surfaced 40 years later. The comments were revealed in correspondence, uh, correspondences with Alec McNear in November 1982, which were previously redacted to remove the more salacious parts. Again, I don't really care about that. I mean, if you care, that's fine. Well, do I want to know? Yeah, I would like to know. But that would not change his behavior or, or his lack of, I would say, ability to be a, a leader. That's my assessment of this guy right here. I don't think he was... In, uh, I would give him a 7 in intelligence, from 0, 07 to 10. So I would give him a 7. Looks, I would give him a 2. The way he spoke, I think I would give him a 5. He was pretty good. I will give me two, okay? So, uh, why? Because his first language was English. That's the only reason. Anyway, so uh, cur courage, nothing. Uh, he was a, uh, a man of some other people. In one letter, a 21-year-old uh, Mr. Obama wrote, and I'm quoting, in regard to homosexuality, I must say that I believe this is an attempt to remove oneself from the present, a refusal, perhaps, to perpetuate the endless farce of earthly life. You see, I make love to men daily, but in the imagination. So, uh, if you put it in this context, I think it's kind of clear that he was really, you know, thinking about having sex with men. Um, I, I think, but hey. And then he says other things with an andro androgynous mind. My mind is androgynous to a great extent and I hope to make it more so until I can think in terms of people, not women as opposed to men. Well, that's a different story. Over here was about the mind. Here was about the homosexuality. Uh, in this, okay? it's They're connected over there. But nevertheless, it doesn't change anything for me, at least. Sometimes we use this kind of, uh, you know, figurative speaking, and we use all kind of we use all kind of styles. But I don't think, uh, no, I don't think I know that I've never said to any girlfriend uh, or anybody, partner or friend, close friend. You know what? I kind of feel like uh, getting one in my butt. No, you know, uh, you can be kinky, you know, uh, with uh, your opposite partner. Let's put it this way. Um, but still, uh, I never, at least I never, and it's, it's not that, oh my God, no, I have a problem. No, if they want to do it, if you want to suck it, if you want to take it, if you want to give it, it's fine. It's, the fun, it's with them. I never felt this, this thing is just, I'm saying to me, if you say that, that means you have an inclination towards that. Uh, for instance, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's your choice to, if you want to have sex with a goose, I think uh, that's between you and the goose, but hey. No, I had uh, someone who used to tell me that, and I'm going to use this uh, expression here, uh, he's gay, but he doesn't know it yet. Well, Obama, I think, I don't know if he's gay, if he's an active homosexual, he was an active homosexual, which I don't care, but definitely he thought about it <laughs> in his own words. Uh, maybe it's more context into that, but that would not change my assessment for Mr. Obama. That for me, Mr. Obama is former President Obama. I don't care his family, I don't care Michelle Obama. People say Michelle Obama is not Michelle, Michelle is Michael and all that. I don't give a shit. Those are not his kids, all kind of conspiracy theory or theories. I don't really, really care. I don't care if I'm just gonna use it. If Michelle tomorrow comes and say, hello, here it is, doing, I don't care. I really don't care. I don't like her character to start with. What she said and the way she said it, for me it's clear. She doesn't love at least one group of people and I'm part of that. So, you know, uh, um, that's my assessment of her. I don't care if she shows me her balls tomorrow or she shows me something else. Two balls or three balls or five dicks. I really don't care. The point is, what, how did this guy perform as the president of the United States of America? And I, thought, I think he did a 2 out of 10. 10. Maximum 0. 0. He's a 2 in my assessment. And uh, just for comparison, if I take... Uh, for us, I'm not talking about his interest. For his interest, probably he was a 10. Like uh, George W. Bush, he was a 0 for me. 
as a US citizen, but for his interest, he did everything that was on, on that list. He puck, 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 puck. The same with, for instance, uh, uh, Biden. Biden is a, a negative uh, 20 for me, but he click, click, click for his interest. Because if you think that these guys are over there for us, <laughs> okay, well, I don't know, maybe with time, uh, and we need times, as someone used to tell me when I was much younger, yeah, 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 you uh, you read a lot, yeah, 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 you're a smart guy, but certain things you can't uh, grasp but with age. And he was right. Well, I'm older and I know that's much more to learn. And there's a lot of wisdom that will come upon us with time. You can't speed up the process, that person told me. You can't speed up the process, you have to wait. You have to wait. And he was right, he was right. And at that time, I was thinking, ah, just because he's older than me, he just says that, oh, you know, arrogance. Well, hey, that's the way it was, and I can share that with you. I was wrong, he was right, and I'm telling you this. Uh, and anyway, that's it. I don't care if Obama um, takes elephants in his butt. I don't really care. Or sucks, I don't know, who's a gorilla's dick. I don't care. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.